thought for the day, Good Friday. On the day of crucifixion, as Jesus hung in agony on the cross, the taunts and mockery of the Jewish leaders and the crowd were loud in his ears. And suddenly at noon, a darkness fell across the whole land. And three hours later, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And at that very moment, the earth shook, buildings fell down. Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and released his spirit. And at that moment, the huge curtain of the temple sanctuary was split in two from top to bottom, showing that there was no longer any separation between God and his people. The terrified Roman officer and the men huddled at the foot of the cross said, this was indeed the Son of God. Today we meet over the internet to remember these events on this most holy of all days of the year, on the day we call Good Friday. Surely that's the wrong name. We can't call good a day on which our God is killed. Black Friday would be a much better name for this day, wouldn't it? But the most important and the most significant words ever uttered in the history of the world were spoken when Jesus said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that was the moment when the sin of the whole world fell upon him. That terrible weight of our sin broke the heart bond of relationship between Jesus and Father God. Jesus was on his own, separated from God. He had taken the place of desolation for us. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the fall by becoming a curse for us. Galatians 3.12 Good Friday is good because death is not the end. It is the beginning. We have been given a way of escape from the consequence of our sin through the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. John 3.16 reminds us that God so loved the world that he sent his only son that all who believe will not perish but have everlasting life. That is why this day is called good. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. <laughs>